Parabadar Temple Compounds. The Parabadar Temple Compounds is one of the greatest Buddhist monuments in the world, and was built in the 8th and 9th centuries and during the reign of the Sailendra dynasty. The monument is located in the Kedu Valley, in the southern part of central Java, at the center of the island of Java, Indonesia. The main temple is a stupa built in three tiers around a hill which was a natural center, a pyramidal base with five concentric square terraces, the trunk of a cone with three circular platforms and, at the top, a monumental stupa. The walls and balustrades are decorated with fine low reliefs, covering a total surface area of 2,520 square meters. Around the circular platforms are 72 open works deposed, each containing a statue of the Buddha. The vertical division of Burabhadar temple into base, body, and superstructure perfectly accords with the conception of the universe in Buddhist cosmology. It is believed that the universe is divided into three superimposing spheres, Kamadatu, Rupadatu, and Arupadatu, representing respectively the sphere of desires where we are bound to our desires, the sphere of forms where we abandon our desires but are still bound to name and form, and the sphere of formlessness where there is no longer either name or form. At Burabhadar Temple, the Kamadatu is represented by the base, the Rupadatu by the five square terraces, and the Arupadatu by the three circular platforms as well as the big stupa. The whole structure shows a unique blending of the very central ideas of ancestor worship, related to the idea of a terraced mountain, combined with the Buddhist concept of attaining nirvana. The temple should also be seen as an outstanding dynastic monument of the Sailendra dynasty that ruled Java for around five centuries until the 10th century. The Burabhadar temple compounds consists of three monuments, namely the Burabhadar temple and two smaller temples situated to the east on a straight axis to Burabhadar. The two temples are Mandat temple, whose depiction of Buddha is represented by a formidable monolith accompanied by two bodhisattvas, and Pawan temple, a smaller temple whose inner space does not reveal which deity might have been the object of worship. Those three monuments represent phases in the attainment of Nirvana. The temple was used as a Buddhist temple from its construction until sometime between the 10th and 15th centuries when it was abandoned. Since its rediscovery in the 19th century and restoration in the 20th century, it has been brought back into a Buddhist archaeological site. Burabhadar temple compounds with its stepped, unroofed pyramid consisting of ten superimposing terraces, crowned by a large bell-shaped dome is a harmonious marriage of stupas, temple and mountain that is a masterpiece of Buddhist architecture and monumental arts. Burabhadar Temple Compounds is an outstanding example of Indonesia's art and architecture from between the early 8th and late 9th centuries that exerted considerable influence on an architectural revival between the mid-13th and early 16th centuries. Laid out in the form of a lotus, the sacred flower of Buddha, Burabhadar Temple Compounds is an exceptional reflection of a blending of the very central idea of indigenous ancestor worship and the Buddhist concept of attaining nirvana. The ten mounting terraces of the entire structure correspond to the successive stages that the Bodhisattva has to achieve before attaining to Buddhahood.